Convergent sequences sure are nice, but not every sequence converges. Some sequences diverge to infinity. Positive infinity in particular is what we're interested in today. We'll be proving that the sequence a n equals n squared diverges to positive infinity, which we can write like this. The limit as n approaches infinity of the terms of our sequence is equal to positive infinity. This notation, of course, means something different in this context than it does when we're talking about a convergent sequence and we'd have a finite value here. This is not an epsilon delta definition. What it means for a sequence to diverge to positive infinity is that given any positive real number, eventually the sequence passes that real number and stays above that real number from then on. If you need more of an intro to sequences that diverge to positive infinity, negative infinity, and neither, I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson on the topic. Now let's get into the scratch work of this proof. For the scratch work of our proof that this sequence of squares diverges to positive infinity, we're basically trying to find the point at which our sequence will pass and stay above an arbitrary positive number. So the idea is for any arbitrary positive number, we want the terms of our sequence, which are of the form n squared, to be greater than that real number, say m. Now if n squared is greater than m, this of course means that n, taking the square root of both sides, n must be greater than the square root of m. So the idea is, given any arbitrary positive number m, the nth term of our sequence for all n greater than the square root of m will be greater than that real number m. So this is the scratch work we do for our proof. Then in the proof, we'll say let big N equal the square root of our arbitrary positive real number. Then we'll consider terms of our sequence after the big nth term and the proof will follow very straightforward from there. We'll show that all terms after this point are in fact greater than our positive real number m. Once more, the idea of this definition is that given any positive real number m, at some point, our sequence will pass that real number and stay past it. That's what it means for the sequence to diverge to positive infinity. All right, the rest is a piece of cake. Here's how our divergence proof goes. We say fix this positive number m and let big N equal the square root of m. This is what we figured out would work in our scratch work that we did beforehand. Then for all n greater than big N, this is saying consider the nth term of our sequence for all values of n that are bigger than the square root of m. That's the idea here. So for all n greater than big N, for all terms after this certain point, point in the sequence, what do we know? Well, certainly a n, the term of the sequence, is by definition equal to n squared. But since n is greater than big N, n squared must be greater than n squared. However, n is equal to the square root of m. So of course, this is equal to the square root of m squared, which of course is equal to m. And there we go. Clearly we see a n, this arbitrary term of our sequence after a certain point, is greater than the arbitrary positive number m. Just a couple quick notes on some slight variations on how you might see this proof written. Sometimes instead of big N being set to equal the square root of m, you might see big N set to be a natural number that's at least as big as the square root of m. Sometimes you also might see little n just taken to be greater than the square root of m and forgetting about this big N altogether. But regardless, the idea is the same. The idea is that at some point, or after a certain point, for all n greater than big N, the values of our sequence are greater than m. So indeed, by definition, this sequence of squares of the natural numbers 
diverges to positive infinity. Given any positive number m, eventually our sequence passes that number and stays above it. And we know that it stays above it because of this for all, for all n after big N, the terms of our sequence are greater than m. So that's a nice basic proof of diverging to positive infinity, and I hope this video helped you understand it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the jolliest math lessons on the internet.